go. The last major formula I want to teach you is um, when you sometimes get a medication, maybe it's potassium, maybe it's uh, vancomycin, and the pharmacy tells you how fast you can infuse it. And they're not going to tell you how many milliliters, they're going to tell you how many grams or milliequivalents that you can infuse in a given hour. So a lot of students get worried when they see this little abbreviation, M-E-Q. That's milliequivalents. That's just how we measure electrolytes. It's no different than measuring grams or milligrams. It's just a measure for that specific properties of that element. So we don't worry about the label, except to make sure they're, they match. <laughs> So, on this one, we're going to use ratio proportion, which is just a really good friend to nurses. This is a wonderful formula of ratio proportion you can use day in and day out. So, let's say the doctor orders 20 milliequivalents of KCL, okay? And it's in 100 mLs of D5 and water. Now, policy and procedure says you can only infuse 10 milliequivalents per hour. So, and now it asks you to program your pump. Okay, so I know I can only infuse 10 milliequivalents an hour. My question is, how many milliliters is that? Well, I don't know, so I'm going to call that X because I don't know how many milliliters that is. That's a mystery, and I love mysteries. So, let's look back at it. Now we're gonna say X mLs, I always put X on top, mostly because I'm lazy, Ten is 10 milliequivalents. These two are partners. They're in the square dance, they're the partners, okay? So now I have to look. Milliliters is on top. Where else do I have milliliters in my problem? Right here. So, if milliliters are on top, they stay on top. Milliequivalents are on the bottom, and milliequivalents have to stay on the bottom. Okay? So now, this is an equal sign, not a times, right? So I jaywalk. It's like a crosswalk. I'm jaywalking. So, XMLs equals 10 milliequivalents times 100 mLs divided by 20 milliequivalents do I know if I have it set up right? Yes, I do, because I have milliequivalents cancel out. I'm left with mLs. It's what I'm looking for, so I'm in good shape. So 10 times 100 is 1,000 divided by 20, and I'm going to get 50. And I have my calculator right behind me. <laughs> you can't see Mr. Ryan's my assistant today. Than me being his assistant. So, um, so the answer is 50, and that's all you have to write because it says how many milliliters or program your pump is 50, okay? That's all you have to put. So let's do another one because this can, like I said, this one can kind of monkey with you a little bit, okay? So we'll, we'll change it just a little bit. has ordered two grams of vancomycin. That's a big dose, kids. Okay. And again, these are not formulary. These are not correct. I'm just making them up. Okay. And it's in um, 250 ml of D5 and water. The, the policy procedure says, or the pharmacy says, we can only infuse 500 milligrams per hour. So, program your pump. Again, we don't know how many milliliters 500 milligrams per hour is, but so we make that X. XMLs is 500 milligrams. Okay, I have mLs on the top. That's 250 mLs, right? This is where I found it. mLs are on the top, they stay on the top. Uh-oh, I have grams here and milligrams here. What do I gotta do? 
I've got to convert those grams to milligrams. You have to have all your labels have to match. So if there's a thousand milligrams in one gram, two grams would be 2000 milligrams. Okay. Again, I'm just making this crap up, you guys, because it's not real. Okay, so now we're going to say X mLs, and I know I will have this set up, equals um, 500 milligrams times 250 mLs divided by 2,000 milligrams. Milligrams are going to cancel out. I'm left with milliliters. It's what I'm looking for, so I'm happy about that. And I'm not even going to pretend to do this in my head. So I'm going to say 500 times 250 divided by 2,000. 62.5. So 62.5. I would verify this. Actually, I would do this math count twice. So I have to round that up. So that would round up to 63. So again, I have practice problems for you for this formula. Not a whole lot, you have to dig for them. On page 454, I want you to do number eight, and then page 456, I want you to do 18 and 21. I hope this helps. You get ready, enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas.